You are gonna be feeling this all week. Hello, my Astro Tribe. Today, we're going to be talking about the energy for the week ahead for November 8th, 2021, specifically focusing in on some heavy energy that we have on the 10th of November, 2021. So if you're in the Western Hemisphere, a lot of this energy is building to a peak by around 4.08 p.m. Central Time. But that doesn't even really matter because you're going to be feeling this energy build as soon as today, maybe even a little before and for a couple days after. So this energy is really active this entire week. So what do we have going on? So um, forewarned is forearmed, and I'm just gonna give you the truth of what I see in this energy because it's gonna feel a little bit intense. And of course, the energy typically does during Scorpio season, which we are in, but we have Mars, the traditional ruler of Scar Scorpio, making a conjunction to Mercury exact at seven degrees. And both of these planets are squaring Saturn in Aquarius at seven degrees. So. This is a bit of a malefic influence, meaning it's challenging. It is associated with creating sort of um, unpleasant or hard circumstances in our lives. So it's not all bad news, but we definitely have some intense energy ahead this week. So this is going to be a time where you will probably sense that there is sort of a fast moving, anxious type of energy. Mercury rules our minds, our intellect, our way of communicating and conjunct Mars, which governs our anger, our frustration, our action, our willpower. In Scorpio, the sign that embodies that intense, laser-focused, super magnetic, a bit obsessive energy. This is a time where we can be uh, speaking at a turn, we can be a bit forceful, we can find that our minds are ruminating a little bit more than normal, we're a little bit anxious because we're really motivated, we're really on fire, we have a lot of power, and we wanna actualize our will uh, onto the world around us. So that can create um, some miscommunications, that can create some spicy language and confrontation. Mars is that fighting energy and that's certainly at play here. And the reason why I see the energy of this conjunction playing out a little bit more on the unfavorable negative side of the energy is because of that square to Saturn and Aquarius. So anytime that Saturn is activated this year, by proxy, it activates its square to Uranus. So that's that energy this entire year between Saturn and Uranus that has us wanting to just shake out of old circumstances, shake out of energy that feels repressive to us, that feels restricting to us. And there's a part of us that wants to change everything around us where we feel stuck and just boxed in. And at the same time, while we work to make those changes, Saturn is saying you have to do it the slow, the right way, not the fast way. You have to do it methodically. You have to keep in mind the greater impact, the greater good, what you're really striving for in these changes that you're making because in Aquarius, we're really concerned with making sure that our actions are in alignment with the outcomes we wanna see in the collective too. So, you know, there, there's this feeling of restriction and this feeling of wanting to break free that gets activated by the Mars and Mercury conjunction in Scorpio. So uh, you really what I see here is the mind is moving very quickly. We're making decisions maybe a little bit impulsively um, at a snap, at a snap decision, right? So we can say things we don't mean. We can do things on an impulse that end up creating havoc for us later on. Because anytime Saturn is involved, when you make an impulsive choice, Saturn rules time. And you will see the consequences of those actions in time and sort of have to go back and kind of clean things up later. So if any choice you make this week isn't something that you've already been meditating on, isn't something that you've been thinking about for a long time, and is perhaps done from a place of frustration and um, anger, you're going to find that it wasn't built on a strong foundation and you didn't really have your ducks in a row, or you said some things that you didn't mean, and you're gonna to have to go back and kind of clean up that mess later. That's sort of what Saturn does. It's that um, strict sort of like authoritarian par parental father figure kind of energy where it's like, you know, you should have done better. And there's a little bit of um, disciplinarian kind of energy that comes back around with Saturn. 
So, you know, Mercury ruling what we what we talk about, what we think about, Mars ruling the actions that we take in the material plane, there's definitely some energy here that can make this a little bit dicey in our personal relationships and also just the way that we feel inside. In Scorpio season, we're concerned with uh, controlling the outcome. There's a lot of things that we desire so intensely right now. There's a lot of things that we fear happening for the future more than anything. And this is a period of time in which those shadows, those deep subconscious feelings that we have are closer to the surface and we feel them more intensely. When we are in that place, it can be easy to act too quickly and to use our power as creative beings working with the universe to sort of um, create damage and attempt to control what will be. And I think the message of this energy is again the same as Scorpio season. Sit in a place of centeredness and watch the things happening around you from that place of stillness and let them be what they will be. Because as much as manifestation and modern new age thought likes to teach us about how we can control our reality, how we can create what we want, how we can um, sort of see our will play out in the world, the message here is that this was never just about you and your will. It's also about co-creation. And the way that the universe brings to pass the things that you're desiring most is through circumstances that cannot be controlled, right? So we have to surrender to the grand plan and trust that it is fulfilling what we desire most. And, and that's important because there's so much of Scorpio energy that is about magnetizing to us what we want most. There's magnetic power in that energy. And we can create what we fear and we can create what we desire. But if you think it's all your responsibility, you will spin yourself up into worry over every choice that you make. And there's an element here that calls us to trust and to be still, which is really hard amid Scorpio season because that energy is a little bit distrustful. It's a little bit suspicious. It's worrying about, you know, what could go wrong? What could stop us from getting what we desire most? Or what about what we have today is going to transform into something we don't desire, right? Something we fear very much. So, you know, my overall message for the energy this week is don't act too quickly and try to stay in your stillness. Do whatever practices support you to do that. Try to start your morning in mindfulness, whatever that looks like for you, and try to check in with yourself moment to moment, you know, hour by hour. Take a minute to take a deep breath. Mercury, by its association with Gemini, rules the lungs. With Virgo being the other sign that is ruled by Mercury, that has association with the gut. And so we want to make sure that we are checking in with those emotional centers and just <sighs> breathe. Don't eat emotionally. Try to be kind to yourself and to be present for the transformation that is happening around you. Scorpio is going to be a time where things come to change, things come to pass through endings and through the birth of something new. But if you try to insert yourself in there and control everything, you're going to have a harder time here. So, you know, I, I really do see this as a time where we will be highly motivated. We're gonna have a lot of ideas. We're gonna be thinking quickly and you can take a lot of committed action during this time as well. You can transmute that energy and you can channel that energy into showing up with discipline and commitment to the changes that you know you need to make and the work you know you need to do methodically, step by step, in order to achieve that liberation that you're craving from that Saturn-Uranus square aspect. But this is also a time where you can act too quickly and impulsively. Typically when we see Mercury-Mars conjunctions as well, since Mercury rules commuting and short distance travel and vehicles, Mars is kind of the energy of accidents and going really fast and 
frustration and anger, right? So you want to be mindful of that this week as well. Just try to check in and slow down. Just set that intention every morning and be careful. Use your mindfulness to be a little bit careful. You know, this is also a time where we can like, you know, cut ourselves accidentally and bump into things and drop things and break things. And so all of those things happen in response to anxiety. So watch your thoughts, watch where you're trying to control reality, watch where you're becoming fearful and anxious and slow down and breathe into it. That is the energy for the week ahead. Week ahead. I am wishing you the best of this energy and to transmute it into everything that you want most. Uh, let me know how you're feeling this week and how you're responding to this energy. I'm curious to see. I, I'm finding myself that I'm waking up a little bit anxious and needing to spend more time in yoga, more time in mindfulness practices and checking in with how I'm breathing throughout the day. So wishing you well with energy. Sarah.